buddy. Guess what? We have video, hopefully. If oh, we don't have video. I just did the Nathan greeting. Hey. <laughs> that is seriously how he yeah. gets everything in Arcane Duels. So hopefully we have video this time um, because we're experimenting with video footage. Um, still don't know exactly how we're going to use it. So we're recording it and we're going to do some crazy stuff. So I'm not going to make any promises right now. But today we are playing Dropsy and you have never played this, Cujo. What? Oh, no. Nope. But uh, Dropsy... <laughs> Drop I'm paying attention. <laughs> Wow. Uh, so Dropsy is a game by Tender Shoot, I believe is the name of the studio, but really... Um, Turnder Shoot? Turnder, Tender Shoot. No, it's uh, too late. It's Turnder Shoot now. Turnder Shoot. Turnder. It's another point-and-click adventure, and it's developed... No, it's not developed. I already said that. Dropsy is a point-and-click adventure, and it's, it's creepy. <laughs> it's too late. It's creepy. Why is it creepy? We're also looking at the TV, not at the camera. Yeah, sorry. New habits to develop, folks. Okay, let's jump in. So we're look. Where am I looking at my people or well, now, now my look people? <laughs> You're gonna look at your people, which is Dropsy the clown. So I'm looking at this then. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. <laughs> so Dropsy the clown is a clown that was born with no hands. Oh. That's... Um. And considerably, he is under the special category. Oh. I don't know if you caught what just happened. Is the sound coming out of here? It did for a second. Oh, that's probably because the volume's all the way up. Sorry, everybody. There we go. Now it'll be better. So I don't know if you caught this, but uh, Dropsy was a clown in a carnival, mm -hmm. and some asshole dropped a cigar and burned down the whole thing. Cool. Isn't it great? Classy people do that. Yeah. Yeah. Aww. Dropsy is a little puppy. Little guy. That puppy is puking pink liquid on him. Yeah. That's so cute. <laughs> that, that's so cute. Uh, so I, I really, really, really love the pixel art in this game. Mm. Um, it definitely has its uh, a distinct style to it. Oh, without Ooh. a doubt. It's... Oh, oh, oh. I think... Um, I forget the name of the main developer. I'll have that by episode two, I promise. Um... But the main developer, it was, it was basically one guy. This whole game was made by one guy with like help from other people. Because wow. they ran a Kickstarter. The first one failed, and then the second one succeeded. Um, so it was actually really cool to see him. Jay Tholen, that's his name. Mm. Um, I think Jay Tholen does a lot of the... He does a lot of... He's a composer first and foremost, I think. Um, but he also wanted to make a game. And he's a really good pixel artist um, mm. also. So this is Dropsy. It's yeah. crying. This is Papa Dropsy. And this is Mama Dropsy. Is Mama Dropsy dead? I'll take your... <laughs> also, this is my favorite. Hi! <laughs> How are you doing, Dropsy? Oh, huh. its eyes are so creepy looking. I love you! That was my favorite show. You see the, uh, the, the reflection? Oh, that's... that's... <laughs> that's let's let's uh, change the channel. Why oh, is he can't. smiling? Dropsy's always happy, dude. Even when he's depressed. Oh, uh, let's let's play the uh, xylophone. You were never a musician, were you? La la <laughs> la la la. Okay. Um, I wonder if this is gonna show. Nope, it's not gonna show anything. Baby Dropsy, but Mama died. No. Aww. So. Basically, what we're going through right now, if you can't tell, is he's kind of reliving his nightmares of his past. Mm. Um, oh, what? The oh, this is my favorite. Oh. It, oh, I don't like that. Oh. <laughs> I just love the flickering. Chris, tongue. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, clown puppy. Puppy. Or bloody face puppy. Ooh. He's just got a red nose. You've never seen a puppy with a pink nose? That's not a pink nose. That's ha A, that's half his face. Whatever, man. I do what I want. That's also red. I know you can't see red. Whatever. Hey! Oh, that's better. So, uh, this is a common thing uh, in this game is uh, we'll be going to sleep to pass time. Yeah. And, uh... Every now and then, it's not every time, um, Dropsy goes through these nightmare sequences, um, which can be particularly horrifying. Um, mm. 
so this is news about this circus burning down and they're like was dropsy the villain oh. is he evil did he do it uh, that turns it off and then you know <laughs> good old-fashioned episode of walker texas ranger Wah! and uh what <laughs> i just i love this it's like it's one of those things that's totally arbitrary right this doesn't actually have any effect um but like they made a bunch of little like hmm. tv shows it's it's kind of fun interesting yeah right um, but I think I was saying, is fantastic. right? So I, I think I was trying to say before, Jay Tholen, I think did most of the environment stuff, mm. and he had some other artists come in and actually do the animations for. Oh, it's Mama's birthday. Dead Aww. Mama's birthday. God, stop bringing that up. <laughs> um, and I think. <laughs> hey, did you know that the mom's dead? <laughs> she she died. Oh, she did. You know she did. <laughs> <laughs> we can go to the bathroom. I think we can go to the bathroom and groan. No, that was him farting. Oh, that was a. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> that was even. Not... He's like, oh god, I'm horrifying. Oh, I'm in 3D. What's happening? Oh yeah, we have our little uh, display, so we can control. Little pupperoo. Aww. We get little companions in this game. It's actually kind of amazing. Hmm. Also, this music I think is absolutely perfect. I think after I, I did my first full playthrough of Dropsy, um, the one thing that stuck with me was a lot of the music for the game, mm -hmm. and uh, I just like I couldn't get it out of my head. It was all so good, and it sets the the, oh, the, the cool. feel of the game really well. Also, you're missing, but that's. Yeah, that's that is a mechanic of the game. The puppy goes up to things and pees, and he gets super happy about it. <laughs> He's all like, "Yeah, I peed on that shit." <laughs> I urinated. <laughs> There's a bunch of stuff over here. This I still haven't quite figured out. I haven't beaten this game 100%, but I've played through it. Um, I just haven't figured out how to do everything yet. Uh, so was, notice this. That this, was a little. Oh yeah. So okay, we got this giant chicken thing. Me <laughs> <laughs> wants a bone. He wants food. But if we notice, he's saying, "I love Twinkies." Oh. So I'm gonna be Twinkies. like, let me just reach into my giant pocket, which is also known as pants, <laughs> and give you a Twinkie. <laughs> you fat chicken thing. <laughs> This, this, this episode title is Game Devs Play Games, The Difference Between Pants and Pockets. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Papa Dropsy. Papa Dropsy. His hair, I mean... He's a clown. I know. I'm just saying, he could kill people with how sharp the, the left side of his head is. That's fair. Papa That's Dropsy, definitely. let's give him a hug. Oh, I love you, Papa Dropsy. <laughs> oh, wacky inflatable arm filling tube, Dropsy. So that's that's like their thing, right? They both do things that make them happy. I don't know if it has any mechanical value, oh. but like that is the point of the game. Huh. The whole premise of this game is that you're going around and you're trying to make people happy. And I think it's adorable. Oh. As disturbing and creepy as this game can be, this, this game, by the time I finished it, I was like, oh! This is, so, oh, this is so heavy! It's so sad! It was good. It was really good. Yay! <laughs> glad we glad we find more games where we can feel things. Dude, I am a hipster. Of course I'm gonna be playing not artsy a games. I thought it was called a warrior's tale, not a hipster bullshit. No, Ben is Ben is a hipster. Ben. I mean, he's more hipster than me. Like, here's my hipster level. Here's like normal people, and then here's like hipster, and then here's Ben. Yeah, I feel like Ben looks at like hanging out with people as he, as a hipster would look at popular things. Like, oh, I hung Coffee? out with Cujo before he really started getting game to play games. Now, not so much because it's totally overdone. <laughs> it's his excuse to not hang out. It's my thought. Pretty much. I forget what the puppy's supposed to do here. It just told me to use the puppy, but I wasn't paying attention because I'm a bad player. Oh, there we go. He was saying, go dig up this mound of dirt. So I did. Mound of dirt. Mound of dirt. Ding. 
I love how bouncy Dropsy is too. It's yeah. like he doesn't have any bones. Doesn't have any bones. No bones. No bones, man. Come on, pick, <laughs> pick it up, man. The epic duel between Gris and whatever he has to pick up. Do you need to... Oh, I guess Puppy picks it up? I got a sock! What, man? You got a problem with socks? It's Jeez. a dirty sock that was in a dirt pile. That's a little gross. Oh, demon squirrel. Gross. With black oh, eyes. What the hell? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. You love me? I love you. Oh! Aww. You're so cute. See how this game can pull on your heartstrings? Because you're like, Dropsy is the epitome of like the most innocent, caring creature. Mm. Fat baby bird. Mm. And a peak. Oh, God. Yeah. It's like the the big chicken from uh, the um, people from Newgrounds who did uh, um, Castle Crashers. What was their. Oh, Fat Chicken or whatever. Fat. It was oh, like their I game think... dev like logo or something, and then they just put it in the game. Oh, Behemoth. Thank you, Behemoth. Wow. I'm glad that you went, oh, oh. I guess I'll high five you. So I love this aspect of the game too. Um, there's no words in this game. Everything is portrayed, all the dialogue in this game is portrayed through images. Um, and this is, this is becoming a little bit more common, I think in a lot of point and clicks, um, but I love it because um, Nathan and I were sort of talking about this with Stasis and, and how um, a lot of texts can actually be really bad because it's it while reading isn't bad it, it still can t have its place in games right um, I'm gonna hug this tree really quick also oh. and it sort of smiles <laughs> I didn't even know it had eyes or a mouth but yep. now I see them and now I'm freaked out <laughs> Um, but having a lot of text in games can slow it down in a way that's actually pretty detrimental to the game. Um, if it breaks up the pacing, sometimes it doesn't feel right. In a game like Stasis, a horror game, it's it actually doesn't work very well. Um, so having this mechanic in game, or having this form of dialogue in games where it's all images, can be really, really nice because it doesn't force the player to stop. Humans recognize images and we interpret images way faster than words. Um, so not only is it like just good design, but it's also beneficial on human psychology because that's how our brains work. Hmm. Uh, so now that we are in the little downtown area, that's all for this episode, but we're gonna do a full playthrough of this series and we're gonna be talking about the game design stuff as we go. So, stay tuned, and hopefully you like the face cam if we end up actually using it. So, let us know what you think. Yeah. There's my contribution. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah, yeah. Otherwise we will see you later. Good. Great. Fact. Sounded like you said straight fat, and I was like, I don't think that's what he actually said.